Hello everyone, my name is Allison Lee and these are my teammates Jingyi Wong, Manpao Bob-yuk, Rebecca Trang, and our wonderful advisor Gregory Stoller. We are from Boston University located in Massachusetts, USA, and today we will be discussing MiHoYo, a gaming company located in Shanghai, China. In this video, we'll be going through MiHoYo's company history, major challenges and turning points, factors that lead to its present success, future recommendations, and finally ends up with our own conclusion. But before we dive into the case, let me help you understand what the ACG industry is all about. ACG stands for Animation, Comics, and Gaming. The industry originated from Japan due to the strong economic and cultural values that exist between anime, manga, and games. Though the history can be traced all the way back to the early 70s, it wasn't until the mobile digital transformation in 2010 that drastically increased worldwide online user activities, which brings tremendous welfare and business opportunities to the entire ACG industry. Mihoyo started its journey in 2011. Due to the love and passion for anime, three college students from Shanghai Jiaotong University sees the potential of serving the emerging population of otaku users in China, and thus decided to start their own business for online anime gaming. Using scholarship awards and free loans from the bank, Mihoyo was formally registered in 2012. After launching their first mega project, Zambagal Kawaii, which was an unsuccessful commercial product, the company failed to regen its profit and realized the limitation on single-player style of gaming. This attempt had a devastating impact on Mihoyo's financials in 2013 to the point where the company is almost at risk of bankruptcy. Luckily, the same year, the company received their first and only 150k donation from a third party called SkyMobi in exchange for 15% stake shares of their current market. In 2014, Miho spent all of its money on expansion, partnering with Bilibili, one of China's biggest site base for ACG fans, thus allowing them to launch the second mega project, Guns Girl Z, to release without spending a penny on advertising. After regaining the loss, MiHoYo continues to plan forward, spending huge amount of investment on 3D modeling and ARPG research, and the return for all, all these efforts are breathtaking. $731 million of total profit up to date for Honkai Impact 3rd, released in 2016, and $3.6 billion for the most well-known Genshin Impact released in 2019. So how exactly did MiHoYo become such a well-known, successful enterprise, pioneering the action role-playing game industry and anime, comic, and gaming culture? So Genshin Impact's astounding success sparked our curiosity in learning about the masterminds behind this ARPG-style game. MiHoYo started off as a very small brand led by three founders in 2011 and recently received global recognition. Our team wanted to delve deeper into the finer details of MiHoYo's key to success. Analyzing and understanding their success has cultivated our critical thinking, broadened our scope of knowledge, and promoted collaboration amongst individuals who were once strangers. This project was an amazing opportunity to deepen our understanding of how a business forms, operates, and succeeds, especially since the start of their journey proved to be very challenging and ambiguous. Starting off with just a $15,000 scholarship award and a six-month office lease is not a lot of resources for Sai, the founder, who has big dreams. Nonetheless, the team was able to release their first game, Zombie Gal Kawaii. However, the game turned out to be a flop due to its single-player setting and poor user experience, causing the firm to fall on the brink of bankruptcy. Despite being in such a stressful situation, all the employees agreed to cut their paycheck in half, staying loyal to the company and mission. Instead of complaining, they all spent their energy into the game development and user experience of their next release, Guns Girls, bringing the company back to life. Money restraints can heavily affect the quality and success of the game, but the employees continue to stay true to the company mission becoming the essence of what the company has grown to today. 
The recent release of Genshin Impact has appealed to users worldwide and racked in billions of dollars. However, with so much attention and close competition from tech giants, plagiarism sparked controversy amongst users who have also played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. While gamers pointed out similarities in the art style and open world system, MiHoYo's game developers ensured the gamers The Legend of Zelda was purely an inspiration. Once a player enters the game, each player will have a different experience because of the unique character persona and varying interactions with other players. Even in times of success, MiHoYo faces criticism that attempts to dull their efforts. But regardless, MiHoYo perseveres through the challenges and builds on the strong connection that flows throughout the entire company. There are four major milestones through MiHoYo's rapid expansion and development. The first milestone is MiHoYo's cooperation with Billy Billy in 2016, which has brought together millions of anime fans nationwide exactly the demographic MiHoYo was targeting to provide more than 50% of revenue on Android devices. The release of Genshin Impact was the second milestone. Genshin Impact is ranked as the number two revenue generating mobile game worldwide. The success of Genshin Impact really has brought MiHoYo's success to a higher level and laid a solid foundation for its rapid development in the future. The third milestone is its expansion to other technology areas to broaden its business scope. In 2020, MiHoYo established a new company for medical research and experimental development for its long-term layout for brain-computer interfaces. By reaching more and more new technology areas, MiHoYo achieved its fourth milestone, rebranding itself as HoYoVerse with the intention of diversifying its product portfolio and creating its own metaverse. MiHoYo's success is inseparable from its strategies. First, MiHoYo uses an omni-channel marketing strategy by adopting various online and offline channels. It also performs creative analysis for advertising customization. MiHoYo provides customized advertisements based on religions and cultural preferences by doing marketing research and player creative analysis to maximize the effectiveness of advertisements. Another unique strategy is its gacha gaming system, which helps MiHoYo earn lucrative revenue. Players use gacha tickets for chances to obtain random characters or equipment with fixed probability. The mechanism of gacha is a form of gambling, as it is fully based on luck, which is a successful way to drive long-term player retention and revenue growth. MiHoYo also possesses outstanding technology and visual strategy. The soundtrack in the game was recorded by the Shanghai, Tokyo, and London Symphony Orchestra, which provides an excellent game experience for players. MiHoYo is also committed to creating an open world where there are always new episodes and in-game places for users to explore, which increases players' game loyalty. The fourth strategy is Otaku, which is from MiHoYo's slogan as Tech Otaku Save the World. Otaku is defined as a person who has hobby-related interests that might be regarded as obsessive, particularly in the fields of anime and manga. MiHoYo cleverly focuses purely on targeting otaku, and MiHoYo attributes much of its success to its monetization strategy of betting on gamers' willingness to pay for the love of the characters, rather than paying to climb the ranks. For the past 10 years, MiHoYo has transitioned from a small startup enterprise struggling for survival to the third largest gaming company in China with a well-funded budget, heavy research and development investment, strong company culture, and a well-known global reputation. Despite these successes, the company still has many problems yet to solve. For instance, MiHoYo's over-reliance on a single IP digital asset has led to public doubt which hinders the company's IPO request for going public in 2017. With almost 70% of its market station abroad, the company is also facing the risk of more competition and government regulations. To counter these effects, MiHoYo is looking forward to diversifying its product line and expand into the VR entertainment industry. It's also evident that their strategic partnership with Shanghai Raging Hospital to research bring computer interface for the purpose of creating their own future metaphors. 
After looking at MiHoYo's current position, we would like to recommend a few things as the next step in their strategic decision making. First, we believe MiHoYo should continue to develop new technologies to improve game speed and access. Cloud gaming, which is a type of game that allows players to verse each other online from different parts of the world, is becoming popular in the industry for its reach. Having faster internet speed can improve a game and cause people to have greater chances of winning their respective games. MiHoYo plans to create a virtual world that sustains 1 billion people by 2030. So we believe that they should invest in their innovation teams to create VR technologies that will optimize the gaming experience for players, but also give their metaverse an edge over other metaverses at play. Lastly, we believe that they should focus on content creators as a target demographic for their virtual reality. This is because content creators will attract their fans and followers, allowing them and the company to make money. If content creators see an opportunity to make money in the metaverse, they will come to it and bring their following. MiHoYo can then monetize the application to create a profit. As we mentioned, Earlier, MiHoYo has recently rebranded themselves as HoYoVerse due to their newfound goal of becoming more of a conglomerate within the entertainment space. They are looking to expand to more offices across the world, some in Asia and some in North America. They also have recently made an investment into nuclear fusion energy as they support the use of sustainable and renewable energy sources. Hoyoverse's founder and CEO hopes that the rebrand will give players a better virtual world experience. In conclusion, the speed at which technological advancements are progressing is exponential. So MiHoYo's initiatives are headed in the right direction. Every year, there are groundbreaking innovations that change how the world works, influences our everyday lives, and sets the stage for what companies choose to pursue. Despite the ever-changing environment, company culture and people is what brings success to their future. It's the mission that leads the people and the people that lead the world. Thank you.